every human being on the planet who's connected to the ocean, we need to realize that if we protect the ocean, you protect yourself. That is our mission, that Ocean Future Society. And I'm glad to say that to honor my father, my family, and all the people who allowed us be, to be where we are today. But there's a lot more that needs to be done. And uh, I believe we can. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, wherever you live, if you protect the ocean, you protect yourself. That education is critical because the children and young people and the decision makers of tomorrow, they need to have the information to make better decisions. And being able to communicate with angry human being on the planet about all the importance is to protect the ocean and to protect what grows on the land is critical. We are the only species on the planet that has the privilege to decide not to disappear. And when my father uh, co-invented the equipment, uh, at the age of seven, he put a tank on my back, he pushed me in the ocean, and he, I became a scuba diver. And that's why today I'm the oldest scuba diver on the planet who is alive and still diving. to be so is the next one. <laughs> For me, uh, the Maldives is a very, very amazing, beautiful place to get to learn more than I know. Uh, although I was here when I was a kid uh, diving just uh, for a couple of dives for one day. And seeing what's there today, to me, is very important. Seeing the diversity of our species amazes me here. And the quantity yesterday was something that I was surprised about. And I had a great time. I have an honor and uh, I will continue to share whatever I can for people to realize that we all connected to the ocean, we all depend upon. When you drink a glass of water, you're drinking the ocean. If you ski, you're skiing on the ocean. And part of our body is the ocean. And every plant and animal is part of the ocean. We really want to keep connecting people so we do a better job than we have done. We made a lot of mistakes because we make mistakes when we don't know. And I have to say that uh, the Witzkauta have been very, very helpful. That is the mission of Ocean Future Society, which I created after my father passed away to honor his philosophy and uh, I will never stop.
decades, sharks have faced extinction at the behest of our overconsumption. To make matters worse, we've also framed them as the boogeyman who lurks under our seas. Their existence on our planet is threatened not only by our hunger, but also our distaste. I'm Nat Geo Explorer Gibbs Kuguru, and I've been working with sharks for 11 years to use research to support the conservation of their populations. In my journey, I've used scientific tools to learn how these sharks move, socialize, and survive in our environment. These black tip reef sharks in the Maldives have unique familial relationships and use lagoons of the Maldives as nurseries for their young, brothers and sisters cooperating to survive. While my research is always exciting, it must also be tempered by action. The Ritz-Carlton Maldives Fari Islands has supported the conservation of sharks by promoting ethical tourism of these species. A study in 2009 found that the value of a single shark in the fisheries marketplace brought $32 to that industry. Alternatively, that same shark would contribute $3,000 per annum to the Maldives GDP through shark tourism. As I continue to study these species, I have realized that the best way to protect them is to personally experience them. Thank you, Ritz-Carlton Maldives Fari Islands for helping protect planet ocean. My name is Shingo Gokan. I'm the founder of SG Group Tokyo. I'm here at a Ritz Carlton Maldives Fari Islands. We have four cocktails from each bars. One is called Tokyo. It's a combination of gin, tomato water, mastiha liqueur, and elderflower. The second one is Shanghai. Taste is rum, lychee, dragon fruit, and jasmine. And then Okinawa, sweet potato shochu base, sake leaves, coconut yogurt, and element of candle. The fourth one is New York. It's a twist of Vespa martini with geisha coffee and clarified milk. We also created the food by Chef Atsu from SG Lo, which is contemporary izakaya in Tokyo. The teams are amazing. The bar team very quick, precise, uh, prep very well, and warm hospitality. I had a very great experience. I can't wait to come back.
At Risk Cars and Maldives Fari Islands, we want our guests to meet first time with Maldivian culture and embrace it. During their stay, from the start of their journey, our guests will feel the Maldivian touches all around this beautiful resort. Once a guest arrives to the island, a song blowing will be heard, and Arismeha will welcome them. Blowing song means in Maldivian culture. A good news is our guest arrives resort safe and sound. And Arismeha means in Livehi, first confidence of the royal Maldivian family. During our defining moment, our guests can enjoy Maldivian Bodoguru, which is our traditional drums and national music. We also invite our guests to Maldivian Jina, which happens every week to taste our traditional flavors and experience the activities. I choose this amenity for this special day to celebrate our independence. It is a demonstration of local flavors. Yellow is coming from local passion fruit, blue from kanamadu and white is from coconut. You can see Maldivian flag and map on this homemade chocolate based amenity. As Rizkalt and Maldives Fari Islands, we wish all the Maldives Happy Independence Day.